Yes. Just for the memes, I'm going to make a check. Just for the memes. Okay, let's play uh, Knight F3. Anyway, why not? Play B3. I think we're all good, right? We, we, look, we, look, we look all good. Okay, let's play Bishop B2. E3, of course. I could play Atomic. I played, played some Atomic the other day, but Atomic seems very theory-heavy. Thanks so much to Liquor and Poker for the two months. Thanks so much to Liquor and Poker for the two. Now, of course, my rating is very, very high, so this is a very bad match, but I really need to adopt this guy or else I'm going to lose rating points. Um... I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna castle queen side. This almost never happens here. Uh, I'm gonna take with the knight and go like king b1, I guess. Play king b1 and c4. Maybe even g4 is a move, but I'm gonna go c4. Goes knight c5. Let's just drop back and play c4. This is almost never what I play, by the way. Um, but it looks interesting. I'll go c4. I'm castle queen side. A little bit, little bit strange. You almost never castle queen side. Plays a5, so he wants a4. If I take and play queen g4, there's some trick. Knight f5. Um, interesting. I think I'll just go a3. I don't even know if a3 is best, but I'll play it anyway. Go b4. Knight e4. I just trade. Let's take on d5. I mean, this looks scary. I have f3. I've got knight f5 too. Takes with the queen. I go f3 to kick the pony out. I have e4. I mean, maybe black is okay here, but it looks... Black probably is actually just okay, but it is what it is. So I'm going to play rook c1 here. Take the lane. I can always go e4. I have rook d1 as well. Looks pretty decent. e4 to kick the queen, so he can't put the knight on c4. Now, I could play h4 here, but I think I should just be very solid with, like, rook d1. Pressure in the center of the board. e5 always a move that's lurking as well. Now, it goes b5, but... E5, knight, C4, knight, B5 just looks like it wins material. He takes. I just take back. I should be holding everything here unless I'm missing something. Maybe. I don't love this position, but I think it's okay. Yeah, I plays that. I expected that. I'm gonna go here. Just cover the square. He plays queen f4, which is a mistake. I think rook d5 was very strong, but now I can just go g3 to remove the queen. And now queen e4. And I think long term this endgame should just be winning for me here, because I can go knight c3. And I think I'm just gonna win this game now. I also have knight a7, knight c6, which could be very powerful as well. Okay, he plays queen h5. Okay, so let's go knight c3. Go after the pawn on the wing. No rook d5 here either. I can build a connect four. What is he threatening? I don't see the threat. I'm just going to play f4 here. Consolidate my chain. Let's just go here. Offer the trade of the queens. And then probably rook d2. Take the file. And I'm going to go here. Kick the queen out of town as well. And eventually this should be really good. But I still have to be a little bit careful how I play this. I think I can take and go back. Looks safe enough. Queen d7, also a big threat here. Uh, queen d7, queen c4, knight c5 maybe is a move. Rook c5 takes. I think this is okay. Because here I block queen c4, knight c5. Yeah, I cut off the connection between the queen and the rook. Oh, I missed rook d8 though. But I can also just sack, and I should still be winning here. Okay, eight. Okay, let's go here to force queens off the board. Now he's to trade him with two connected pawns. This should be very basic. Thanks for the chief his injury for the get the sub plea first for the 26 and man fletch. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. one up, one down. One of one of ten or one of eleven, I should say, because I want to get my rating to 3270. That's my goal. Um let's let's play the Ragozin here with Bishop B4. Okay, play H6. Is queen b3. c5 is completely reasonable. It's not the best move. I can also just take on c3. I'm going to take on c3 to be very, very solid. It's not the best line, but it's it's something to play. Castle plays c5. Again, very drawish, though. 
Gonna play for A6, B5 here, maybe. Could have played B6 too. Um, I think I'm just gonna go B5 anyway. I think there's a Domingo for the 100 bit thing, so I'm gonna shoot Domingo. Now I can trade, I can. I mean, I don't really wanna trade on D4, but I kind of should. I don't like any of this. Um, how do I try to create an imbalance? I think the way is with C4, maybe Rook A7. Goes B3, very logical. I can still trade and play Queen H4, maybe. Let's just take, he takes. I'll take and go here. Again, not a great position to play, but it's somewhat decent. Go here, attack the Queen. Not ideal. That that is for sure. Definitely not ideal. Um, if I play F6 or F5, they're both playable here. Which one do I want to play? I think F6 has to be the better move just to trade off pieces. D1. Okay, I think I'll go here. Try to trade some queens. I mean, B3 is a little bit weak as well. Okay, trades. And now I should be okay. I go here maybe. Force a trade of rooks. Still hard to win though. So let's go back. Try to keep pieces on the board. Of course, that was a horrible decision by me. Actually horrible. But I have this to attack the bishop. I'm actually playing this really, really badly. Go here, guard the rooks. I mean, if I can get my king out here, which I can with king f7 and king e7, I'm still worse, but I have chances to swindle potentially. I right, find rook g6 was a good move. Guess I'll go here. Not h5. Uh, I guess I'll go king e7 again, trying to get the king over. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try to win this game. Let's go here on bishop c4. I'm going to try to do something a little bit shaky. I mean, I'm, a time is even here, so there's not much I can do. Wow, he just wants to draw, really? Okay, I guess I'll go... Yeah, I mean, I, I can't win, though. Ah, now he plays f4. Interesting. Okay, so... Um, let's go here, I guess, and go after the pawn. I'm not worried about this pawn in the center. If I took, I was I was worried this king gets in. Okay, let's see. Um, bishop g6 is a good move, but I can still go bishop e6. e4. Go here and b4, b3, maybe? Still not working, though. You know, I finds this move, which is very problematic. There was e7, not the best move, by the way. Um, go here, the pawn. Oh, it takes really. Oh, he blunders the bishop. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. That's shocking. Okay. There we go. That's shocking. Okay. <laughs> well, that, that worked out. That wasn't very good, but it worked out. Okay. Lucky. Yeah. Very lucky there. Just um, take the pawn. Go here. Force the rooks off. All right. Let's keep going. Two up. Nine to go. Let's keep going. Knight of three. He felt the card power. Yeah, I mean, I got a little bit lucky there, but whatever. Let's go here and trade. I think it's a shot, Mr. Warlock for the 18 months. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna play Arena Kings today. We're going to uh, cover the Pro Chess League. I think it's a shot, Barngi. Thank you, Stinto as well. Appreciate it. It's when I think you bad dad jokes for the Prime. He goes Bishop B4. Um, 
I guess I'll take and take. I don't, I don't even know if this is best, but I'll do it anyway. Okay, he takes with the knight, which I don't really like. Um, not that it's terrible or anything. It's completely fine objectively, but there, there are some weaknesses to deal with here. Also, the rook doesn't belong on d1. It should be on e1 here, but so be it. Okay, he goes queen b6. Trying to understand what he's doing exactly here. Let's go queen c2 maybe. Knight e5 is a move. In fact, I kind of like it just to trade off some knights here. He probably won't trade. No, he does. Okay, but now the diagonal is a big problem too for black. E8. I mean, this looks really scary. I think I'm just going to go here with the idea of queen b2. I mean, e6 is this massive threat. And I think he realizes what's happening now. This is just an epic threat with the, the battery here on the diagonal. Okay, now I'm going to stack the rooks on the file. Because the problem is he's, he's actually kind of stuck here. He's stuck because he can never really move the rook, and so I just slowly need to improve the position. Slowly. I don't need to do anything really fast here. I just need to slowly improve it. Okay, it looks like he's just basically staying here. He's saying he can just stay. But eventually something bad is going to happen, I, I feel like. I don't know when or how it's going to happen, but something bad is going to happen. Let's go here. Do I have b5 as a move? b5, queen a5, rook c6? That just looks very strong. So I can just take. He can't take, and yeah, this is this is really bad. Thank you so much to Master Kant for the prime. Thank you so much to, to Master. Let's take. Oh, he does have rook e8. Wait. Oh, wait, but if I take and play rook d, d8... Maybe I just go rook c2, just simple. Yeah, I think I'm just playing simple chess here. He has problems on this d file here with the knight. If he moves the knight, I, I'm infiltrating anyway. Eventually, something bad should happen. Okay, rook d8 look, makes sense. Rook d6 also makes a lot of sense. So I think I'm going to go here. If he trades, that opens up the scope. Big problems for my opponent here. Why not play Arena Kings? Because uh, watching Magnus is much cooler, and he's the world chess champion. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to go here. Queen d2 is also completely fine. I don't know why I didn't go queen d2, actually. Okay, now I will go queen d2. And he's going to have to go back to e7 again. And now I'm going to go rook c7. And the rooks and the queen and everything, is just there's a lot of harmony here. His pieces are very poorly placed. Now... I could take, but I think I'm just going to play rook b7. More pressure. Let's take. Oh, can he actually get away with this? I didn't think he could. Oh, he can. Or can he? Wait, no, I take. This should be winning. I'm not thrilled by it, but this should probably be winning. Go after the pawn. Go here and then I just take and it's, it's two extra pawns it should be winning technique has not been super clean this game but it'll be good enough okay, what's he gonna do king g6 I mean I just take just here and takes and again everything is kind of collapsing slowly but surely let's just take three pawns here I think the pawn is guarded by the bishop so I have rook g6 next move I mean Everything wins here, but let me think. I think I'm just going to go check and then rook g8. and Or rook d6, actually. is much simpler. Uh, just take. I mean, it's too many pawns. Just go here. I think I can even just take. That, that's how bad this is. It's just so many pawns. Just gonna guard everything here. Um, can take with any. I think I'm just gonna take with a pawn. I mean, he just he just can't stop it. I've got wide peepos everywhere here. Uh, let's go here so that I, I cover the square. Now I start pushing the other pawn. I mean, he can't even play rook a1 because of bishop c3, and now this pawn goes. Go check. I mean, he just there are too many pawns every which way. Even 
even this like he can't stop all three white people thank you so much to dub nation for the 29 just too much um let's go here and then let's go here i mean again you just can't stop everything there are too many pawns um all right next game i'm gonna play king's indy in this game i need what eight more to eight more to get to 32 70. Oh, let's play a6 here i voted for you in stream rewards and i bought an rtx 4090 will my chest rating go up by 20,000 points because of it it's always possible thanks so much to grand maestro julio for the six month reset so thanks so much to grand maestro julio appreciate it thank you so much let's go e6 hit the pawn on h4 here i'm gonna go d6 let's go here on knight b6 he's probably gonna castle queen side i assume and then i'm gonna go like knight f6 knight d7 nothing too insane yet um I think I'm gonna play Queen E7 I could play Knight E7 first but I want to prevent him from playing like F4 E5 here I still C5 as well at some point I don't know what he's doing his plan is very weird now C5 is a move but I'm gonna go Knight FD7 first maybe even just Rook C8 since he wasted time with Rook C1 Rook, Rook, Rook F1 Rook D1 yeah I'm gonna go Rook C8 and then Rook E8 Rook D8 and then C5 plays d5 which feels wrong but maybe not bigly wrong okay I'm just gonna play rook d8 keep the position compact here okay bishop d4 now I could take I can also play knight e5 here takes is definitely reasonable it's not the best move though but takes and no I think I will take and play e5 here and I'm gonna go c6 to chop the structure play on the c file as well he does have knight d5 I guess but takes and rook c7 should be better for me goes knight a2 this does give me d5 but I think I'm just gonna go knight f6 and probably rook c7 or rook c8 or rook c5 too so many options plays g3 which I don't know I mean he's begging me to play d5 so I'm gonna play it. and then rook d6 now which knight do I take was the question I guess I take with this knight just to prevent knight e4 so let's take with the knight bishop takes was also completely reasonable just go f6 kick the knight out he's gonna go knight e4 I will leave the stack and play queen h6 that may be a good move actually I missed it I'm gonna go b4 here if he plays a4 I think knight c3 might be a trick I also have b3 which is a big trick too and if I go knight c3 takes takes king e2 queen b4 wins king c1 king a1 bishop c4 queen a3 yeah let's go for it I think this is good uh-huh uh-huh I think queen b4 and queen a3 there are they're all sorts of lollies and lobster pincers here he can't play bishop c4 because he loses the rook yeah there, there's a classic jean batista lolly checkmate with queen a3 queen b2 yep so he takes so i go check collect the juicer and now i mean this looks really bad rook d3 queen a1 his king is in shambles here um yeah let's keep going all right let's play e4 something a little bit different I just want to get some read of what his style is um okay I'll play f4 here lag I don't think there's any lag no 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 lag on my end at least good check just trade and castle simple chess play knight e2 maybe d3 c3 play c3 and d4 build a big white center here probably he's gonna play d no he doesn't go d5 yet so let's go here Cause look good at f2 I don't even know if f2 is right but I think it's fine and play a3 it's not a move that I love I think queen d2 should be fine just to stop knight a5 oh I'll take with the d pawn there are no tricks or anything here so looks quite decent for me now I do have bishop h4 to remove the rook if I go bishop h4 yeah I don't see any tricks if knight f4 I take knight c3 I just take he's gonna have to move the rook away Oh, he goes 97 which is interesting an interesting choice I don't like 97 because now he just basically pins his knight for no good reason 
They'll be able to unpin it pretty soon, but... Question is, do I play knight c3 here or not? Or do I go queen f2? I'm just going to go queen f2 here. I like your shirt. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Of. I don't care about knight 3 I'll just go queen e3. I can also take the pawn in a7, maybe? Yeah, I think I just take the pawn. Knight c6, but now I go queen a4. And his rook is once again under attack here. And so I think I'm doing very well. Thanks so much to Enrico Luciani. Now, since I'm up a pawn here, I'm obviously happy to trade knights. Maybe not more than knights, but let's just go... B3 or a3 is a big question. I'm going to go to a3. Try to keep an eye on both both ponies. And if I can go knight d4 with one of these ponies, I think I can go with this pony. He just loses, I believe. Uh, he's got rook d2, queen c3. Here, queen c3. And yeah, again, the ponies connect. His ponies under attack. And they shield as well. Thank you so much to Jaden for the prime. Thank you to Sir Wagzlord. Thank you so much to Matt Elliott. Or Matty Elliott. Thank you so much to Duffel for the two. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm stuck at 1,000 ELO. Any tips? Um, I mean, it's... it. Wait, I just take... I don't even know which rook to put on D1 here, um, to be honest, but I'll just put this rook here. Let's go here, target, um, target everything. I have queen E8 here, which... I'm going to assume at some point this is winning with rook D1. I can't play rook d7 right away because then I get ice skater, but this should be winning eventually. Oh, let's keep playing g6. What do you do? I got a... Oh, yeah, yeah, this was the modern game, yeah. Let's play a beef eater. I'm in a very beefy mood. Let's go f5 here. He plays h4. Um, uh, I think I'm going to just take and play knight f6 and rook g8. is d6 yeah apparently everybody knows this theory which is kind of weird to me it's 94 move here or do i go queen a5 you can also play like a5 and rook a6 i'm gonna play a5 it's probably a terrible move but let's do it play here to hit the pawn this is a very weird position i don't know what the heck is going on it's got bishop f4 or something too but if I get rook d6, I don't know what the heck this is. I'm, I'm actually kind of confused. This is a very, a very weird position. I think I go knight c6 and maybe knight e5. Yeah, this is really, really weird. Very strange. Thank you so much to Hockey Lord for the 12. Chess 9, 96,000. Yeah, let's go knight e5. Rook guards the knight. I mean, I can even go rook d6 here to hit the queen. Like, this is very, very strange. Because now I have knight f3. He has to go queen e2 and then I can kill him with knight d3. I can even go b5 maybe. See what happens. Knight d3 is good, but is it best is the question. Now I think b5 is actually better here. I just want to go bishop b7 and, and fianchito. I still have knight d3 as well. So I mean this looks insane to me. I mean, I also have knight f3. I've got knight d3. I've got bishop b7. My active rook, by the way, a5. Brilliant move that I played. a5 with rook a6, rook d6. And now I think this is checkmate. Better luck next game, dude. Okay, let's keep going. Thank you so much, Youthful Assault. Alfred Hapka. Thank you so much, Marine Mike, for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. No one really cares what your elo is. You shouldn't either play for fun. I agree. Totally. Yeah, I mean, I think really at 1,000, just play as much as you can and enjoy it. It's very important that you enjoy the game. If you start worrying about rating or stuff, just make sure you're enjoying it. That is the most important thing. I cannot stress that enough. If you are not enjoying it, um, it's going to be very difficult. Let's play 95 here. It's going to go like Bishop D6, I guess, or C5 maybe. Um, this is not recommended. 
I'm going to go Quincy too. I don't know if I actually can take on H7 here at the end, but I'm going to try probably. If I'm going to play F5 and I go M Peasant. How to enjoy chess? Yeah, how to enjoy chess. No, I, I can't stress that enough that you really need to enjoy it. You need to enjoy it because when you're stressing, you're worrying about your rating too much. Bad things happen at all levels. It's not just applicable to top level chess. Okay, I'm going to play end peasant, of course. He takes with the bishop, which it is a move, but I somehow felt like it was a little bit wrong. Um, I'm just going to take. I'll make a check. And now it's a matter of which rook do I move where. I think I'm going to move this rook. Don't know if it makes a difference F or A, but I assume this pawn could be a little bit weak in an end game. Let's trade. I'm going to play like Bishop D5, of course. Force the bishops off. I control an open lane. Again, this is why I left the rook on F1. I brought this one in because I, I can't ever really play on the C line. So if I put the rook on C1. He always has C5 to close the, the close the file. So this, this looks correct. Okay, we'll go here to attack the juicer. Thank you so much to Michael Atkin for the 14 months. Thank you so much to Aiken the Heavy Metal. Let's appreciate it. Now, I'm going to go here and stack on the only really open lane. Um, I think I just go here and win a pawn. Suspicious play for my opponent. Because the queen guards the pawn, guards the rook too. I can play rook c8. I can also go rook d4 here. Um, I think I want less pieces on the board though. So I'm going to go rook c8 to trade the rooks. Go back, put pressure on this weak pawn. Okay, let's go here pressure more on more pressure on this pawn this should just be very clean i should just win this game i can even play f3 here um yeah i think this just wins because of the pin i mean this is two pawns right yeah there's no way this isn't winning go here just takes and takes i mean Yes. Just for the memes, I'm going to make a check. Just for the memes. Really? Okay. <laughs> I think this is the first short circuit for the prime. They used to care for the tier one. Yeah, rook b6 was on purpose. <laughs> that was on purpose just to be mean. Um, let's go here. Let's not play a beef eater. Show that he actually knows some prep in the beef eater. Okay, G4 is a fairly serious move. Let's go here. Am I smurfing? No, I'm playing on my main account. Okay, now H5 is... Whoops. H5 is a move, of course. Let's go here. I'll just castle, of course. At some point, I might play F6, depending. Now I'm going to rotate the other pony to B6, and I have A4 too. I also have F6 or F5. Which one do I play? I think I'm going to play F5. I don't know if it's the right one, but I'm going to do it. And I'll take with the queen. I think I'm doing very, very well here, by the way. Very well. The D's knights are really, really well placed. His knight is paralyzed. Can't bring it in. Um... I don't know if a4 is a good move, but I'm going to play it anyway. Maybe a3 later. I, I, again, I don't know. Although I gave him rook f1. I did actually know I messed this up. No, I did mess this up. I'm still probably better, but it's not what I wanted. Okay, so I take. I can take with a c pawn, which is a move. Um, But I think I can play like rook c8 maybe. I just have to be very careful about something bad happening here on the uh, on the dark squares. He goes knight g5. I go a3, of course. Oh, I just blundered. Lovely. Oh, great. I just blundered. Okay, I'll take and go here, I guess, and take. Still kind of okay, but it's not great. I mean, if I get this pawn on B2 and I can activate the darks for Bishop, I do get play for sure. Go here, target the Rook. I want to bring my Bishop into the game, basically. Take. 
I mean, it's not the dream, that's for sure. But I think it's kind of, whoa, he takes? Whoa, I did not expect that. Wait, this looks really insane. Maybe he's, okay. Maybe he's kind of holding here. Although again, this looks crazy. I guess I'll go here. My idea is very simple. I want to make a check and go Bishop D4. D1. So if I go Bishop D4. I mean, my Bishop is very, very active. I've got Knight A3 in here. I mean, I assume I'm going to win this somehow, but I'm not quite sure how just yet. I take. I mean, I still have Knight A3 in here, too. Wait. Can't I fossilize him with D? I just fossilize him with D3. Yeah, he gets fossilized. Yeah, fossilization. Signs, let's keep going. Can just play B3, Bishop B2, keep going. Um, let's play B3, Bishop B2. He seemed to be playing too fast to start, now he's playing too slow. I mean, it's a mix of everything. But it's just tough. I mean, it's it's not easy playing against me. Let's let's be let's be honest. I mean that that is the tough reality. Takes. I just castle, of course. Okay. I think I think I want to put pressure on the C pawn here. Maybe if I can. Maybe knight e two is also move somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna go here and knight f four. Also opening up a lot of scope here on the diagonals. Plays queen b6, I don't like that move. I'm going to go knight f4. I mean, there's even knight g5 lurking too. There, there actually are actually real problems here for black to deal with. I love this shirt getting Tony Montana vibes. Nice. I think it's a bit of trick sass. Hey, this is not Ronak. This is Chess Wizard. Ronak's name is Ronak. It's a uh, Chess uh chess champ not chess wizard wrong player you guys this looks wrong wait this looks very wrong um i'm gonna g5 if i want yeah i think i'm gonna just gonna do it i could have played a3 first but that creates a weakness that i don't really want to create it goes bishop g4 i mean this just looks horrible Probably I could have played A3 first might have been better, but who cares? So here, thanks so much to M. Moraney for the two months. Okay, but now... Oh, he has Queen F6. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a sec. Did I misplay this? Queen D5, Bishop E6, Queen E4, though, should be winning. I mean, there's still too many threats here, because both these pawns are under massive attack. I mean, there's just too much going on here. Thanks so much to Admiral FFs for the two months. Thanks so much to Admiral FFs. Appreciate it. Thank you. Goes there, but now I just go here because he's still got problems. Because the double diagonal is a real issue. Just a big issue. Big problems for my opponent. Big problems, to put it mildly. The bishops are shooting lasers exactly. Because now I go check, check, and then I just gobble. Let's go check and take. I mean, it's just too much. His king is like really naked here. I mean, uh, I think I'm gonna go here and then I'm just gonna go like bishop e4 and he gets sauced on the diax. Let's go check. Let's go check. And now just, I mean, even this is just so disastrous. Like everything is, everything is misplaced here for black. I mean, even he has knight before to try and pretend for a move. I'll just give him one fake glimmer of hope that he can block and I'll blunder. Although even this is actually just winning. I just go check and queen d6.
Thank you to JJC for the Prime and Stygana for the Prime. How can you stream for six hours? You seem like a machine. Yesterday, I streamed for eight and a half. All right, next game. Okay, so we're two away from the Magic 3270s, so let's keep going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't have a favorite movie. No, you guys. I don't I don't have like one movie that I think is better than the others. Let's just go here. I mean, I can take. I can also just take. It depends. I think I'm just going to take and play 97 here. Bishop H6 always was a move too. Why 3270? Because it's a nice even number. Thanks so much just to Norman for the two months. Takes. I guess I will just take with the pawn. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Goes A3, which is a horrible move. Just creates a big weakness here. Um, and now he can never go B4, and he's got just this weak pawn. He can maybe play A4, Knight B5, but I've got diamond hands here because diamond hands are what matter the most since it's not 2021 anymore. Um, let's see what he's going to do. Who cares about Elo? Are you having fun? Of course I'm having fun. I'm winning every game. How is that not fun? Do I have any exposure to crypto? Not really. I have one position in Ethereum that I've had for a very long time, um, but that's it. I've never been a real, I've never really been a big believer in crypto. So let's go here. I'm going to go queen B8 maybe. Yeah. How is your ELO so juiced? Because I've been, I've, I've been playing well and I've gone on a streak. So I'm, if I'm around 3,200, there are going to be times when if I get on a, I go queen D7 and rook B8 or not. I think I'm just going to play h5 first. Okay, so he's trying to put the knight on b5, logical. So I'm going to go here. Yeah, I expected that. Now, I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to play on the... Um, I'm going to try to play in the center of the board. I'm going to try to prevent him from playing f4. Question is, how do I do this exactly? Okay, I'll go king h7 to start. I don't really want to be able to play bishop g5. Oh, maybe I go bishop h6. Okay, whatever. Let's just play rook e7. I was worried about bishop g5, but now I think it doesn't even matter. Um, so let's just go here, I guess. I can always go knight b4 too if I want to, depending. Okay, I think I'm going to go knight b4 now. Because I also have bastions too. I have two bastions in the center here. I think there's a Grove a for the tournament. Doesn't your PCL team play tomorrow? They do. And I, I have a flight this afternoon to Boston, so... I'll be flying to Boston a little bit, a little bit later on today, and then yeah, goes Bishop G5. Okay, now I can play Rook E6. I don't know if there's any justification for it, but I guess I will. Oh, did I just blunder? Oh shoot, it was a mistake. He missed takes and Bishop H3. So okay, so I will go. Of course, I'll play F6 here. Now I can play Knight C2 and take the Bishop, depending if I want that. If I want that. Hard to judge, so I'm just gonna drop back. It was Rook D1 logical. I think I will play Rook B8. I'm just slowly trying to get a good setup. I don't. I don't really have the setup that I want. Um, let's go here. Maybe I'm gonna play F5. I think I will play F5 now. Yeah, let's just go for it. I could have taken the pawn too. Okay, takes. Oh, I missed. Oh, yeah, yeah. I misplayed this horribly. What the heck did I just do? I guess I'll take with the pawn. This is not what I wanted, but this bishop is kind of dead. So go. Um, maybe just knight c6 to hold everything here. Probably at some point I should play King G6, but I don't quite know when. Actually, no, I figured it out here. What I should do is I should... Oh, I slipped. Oh, I meant to go to E6. What the heck? Oh, that's just great. Okay, he doesn't take advantage of... That's too nice of him to do that, but... Yeah, but I'm still losing a pawn here. Okay, whatever. I still can win the game. That's way too nice of him. Yeah, that's way too nice of him. He shouldn't have done that. Because now it makes me feel bad for flagging him in this game. 
Yeah, now it makes me feel really bad for flagging him. Although I'm actually winning on the board, so what am I talking about? I should just... This isn't a flag. I'm, I'm actually just much better here. Take with a bishop. Maybe just uh, here. H6, F5, E2 should be winning. Yeah, this pass pawn is too much. Okay, we're going to get the win anyway. So check. And I think just here. Oh, I queen off one check. Wait, why didn't I play queen off one? Still good enough. <laughs> I think there was Z Pezzy for the prime. Um... Okay, there we go again. Oh, he's done. I guess he's done. No, he's not done. Okay, he will play one more for 3270. Yeah. I mean, I meant to go rookie six and I was going to guard the pawn. I mean, that was really nice of him to do what he did. <laughs> After hanging the rook like that. Is rook better than two bishops? Just depends. Yeah, we're going to be doing a giveaway as well. Yeah. Um, we're going to be doing a giveaway for 50 diamond memberships. You're going to need to type in hashtag 50 wins and your chess.com name. So for me, I would type hashtag 50 wins space and then my username um, in order to, to be in it. So I put like hashtag 50 space Hikaru in order to have a chance. So we are giving away 50 in, in honor of me winning my 50th title Tuesday yesterday. Um, so we're going to be giving away 50 one month diamond memberships on chess.com. That gives you unfettered and unlimited access to, um, to puzzles, games, lessons, I think, everything under the sun that you want um, to, to your heart's content, heart's desire. And um, so make sure that you do type that hashtag 50, hashtag 50 space in your chess.com username. I'm already much better here again, by the way. He's got this big weakness on D5. Also, please only do it one time. If you do it more than once, it might withdraw your name. So please only do it once. Um, what am I missing here? Is this just a free pawn or am I stupid? Okay, it is a free pawn. But I have knight c6 to hit the queen. Oh, look at these knights. And I have 97 to fork him. Look at these knights. Queen has no squares. Knight, this knight covers these. This knight covers this one. And if he goes here, I kill him with 97 with the fork into into the um into the fossil and he loses the game another big win you guys 11 out of 11 we get our rating up to a very paltry 3270 uh slowly slowly climbing up the list <laughs>